I'm here at Parsons Green, about 200 metres from the tube station. Uh, the area is sealed off by police. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty calm. There are arms police deployed, uh, a few uh, pedestrians moving around, but the entire area around the tube station is sealed off as the counter-terror police carry out the early stages of their investigation here. What we do know is that there were... Uh, there was uh, some kind of incident on a tube train travelling from Wimbledon to Fulham at around 8.15 this morning, local time. Uh, some eyewitnesses have described hearing a, a bang and seeing a flash. Others have described seeing flames. I spoke to one lady who was on the uh, tube, on that carriage. Um, she said that she wasn't aware of anything. She herself didn't see a flash or a bang, she only became aware of an incident when people started to panic and moved towards the doors. Um, the tube train pulled into Parsons Green Station shortly afterwards. She got off the train, uh, the lady I was speaking to, along with all the other passengers, and from there it seems there was something of a stampede. People uh, seemingly injured in that stampede, as well as there being injuries from the uh, explosion or fire that took place on the tube train. Um, Sally, the lady I was speaking to, said that she saw uh, another lady who had singed hair and had what also looked like, she said, debris marks on her body. A lot of people as well, apparently, with white fluff on their clothing. Um, that's seemingly emanating from the source of the fire or the explosion. Uh, the police won't say uh, exactly what they think was the cause of this. They're saying that there was some kind of fire. They're not confirming an explosion, but it's too early to confirm the exact cause of the fire, although they are treating this as a terrorism incident. Duncan, what are, what are the emergency responders and police saying to the people in the area? I can imagine uh, the area has been cordoned off at this stage. Absolutely, yes. There's, there's a cordon uh, around this area. Uh, I'm actually on or the edge of Parsons Green, I think, which is right by the tube station. Um, there are a lot of police around. Uh, it's very, very calm. Most of the police are not armed. Uh, in fact, I've only seen a couple of armed officers, and that was further up the road, about 200, 300 metres away from here, away from the tube station. So the area very much under control. There were some early reports of uh, a man with a knife, uh, and a possible second device, uh, but those reports are being dismissed by the police. Uh, there are um, ordnance experts on the scene investigating the tube carriage in question, and people who had been initially uh, held on other trains in the, tube, in, in the tube station have been allowed to leave. Now, Duncan, uh, as once again Metropolitan Police and saying this is indeed being treated as a terrorist incident, uh, it certainly is the latest in, in a string of them uh, to hit the country there. But the, fortunately at this stage, it does, of course, appear uh, we do know that there are no deaths related in this one as of now. No, I mean, there's, there's, there's been many reports uh, of people who've sustained uh, what would appear mostly to be quite superficial injuries. Uh, some people sort of injured uh, uh, in a stampede, uh, others um, who had visible burns. Um, we don't know how serious those burns are. No word yet on that. But no reports of deaths uh, at, at this stage.